Judge Lauren Lake destroyed these girls. But you're not smart enough to know when you're lying. Sitting up trying to pin a baby on a man. Oh, Hold on, I'm baby. talking now, I'm talking now. Since all you can do is shrink four years old and have to sit up and ask two grown adults, is somebody my daddy? Baby's got more sense than the mama and the daddy. Look, little smart mom. No, 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 hold on. Cause you done got on my nerves now. Cause you got a smart mouth, but you're not smart enough to know when you're lying. Judge Lauren Lake destroyed these girls. These high school sweethearts were for sure not having it with each other anymore. Bouncing from cheating to pathological liars and now there's a baby involved. You can bet there's a lot of drama circled around these guys. I'm sure you're already buckled in, so let's get the show on the road. Miss Shans, you appear in court today because you are devastated that your first love and the person you lost your virginity to is now denying your 15-month-old son, Aiden. You say once you prove to the defendant that he is the father, you hope you two can finally be a family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hollis, you are here with your mother and you both testify that Ms. Shans is a pathological liar and you both don't believe you fathered her son but claim to know who did. Is this correct? As you would imagine, Judge Lauren wasn't going to go easy on these guys. I mean, they basically looked like kids. You could feel in the tone of her voice that she couldn't wait to give these two high school sweethearts some spankings. Read through the court file, and this is a classic case of babies having babies. I'm gonna start with you, Ms. Shans. Tell the court, what do you want to accomplish today? Today, I would like to accomplish that Amir is the father of my child. He has been in my baby life ever since my baby has been three months. He's my first love, my first kiss, my first everything. And today, I just want to know the truth about... I want, to, I want to prove to him that he is the father of my child. And so, Mr. Hollis, tell the court why you say she's a pathological liar. I caught his eye cheating so many times, like, you know, man. Now, the love story between Mr. Hollis and Miss Shans started when they were in middle school. Things seemed pretty sweet back then. But hold up. Things took a twisted turn when he found out she was messing around with some of his friends. Oops! Like, like, it's, it just... After, after middle school, like, after, when we hit high school, everything was going straight, like, her freshman year. But after that, like, when we had gotten into that one argument, we broke up, and then that was that, and she started messing with my homeboy, and she started messing with multiple people. Mm, your Honor, me and was close friends once before. They was, but they used she to... She used to come back and tell me that Mr. Amir, he was messing with one of my friends. Mr. Hollis was no saint either. He was also messing about with some of her friends. Sneaky little teenagers, wouldn't you say? Miss Shan said they weren't so smart at the time and didn't really know what they were doing because they were young. Well, Judge Lauren slammed her straight up and trust me, she wasn't nice. I don't, I don't and know. And we it's both, cool. we both were young at the time. We both were young, so... Both y'all young now. Yeah, we still <laughs> are young. We still are young. Yeah. But, but I thought it was cool to go mess with one of his friends because he had slept with one of mine. We both had made a mistake. No, no. We both made no, a mistake. That's not how it is. No, no, no. All right, all right. That's all right. Not, this is really what went on. All, all of them would be at my house every weekend. His friend, that's the other guy that she messed around with, and they would be there all the time. And I was there one weekend, I was off. And she was going to the store. She said, um, come on, best friend. That, but that's supposed to be his best friend. Come on, best friend, let's go to the store. I said, what did... I told him, I said, what did I do that at? I said, he your best friend, he her best friend too. Like, I knew about the whole best friend thing, but, like, now that they done slept around on me, like, I don't know, like, they probably were doing it then. They were. Like, back when they, they were best friends. I believe they no. were. No. No. I believe they were. In no time, the courtroom turned into a kid's assembly with both Mr. Hollis and Miss Shans chattering, no, I didn't sleep with your best friend. No, he was my best friend. No, he wasn't your best friend. 
Judge Mr. Hollis Lauren was boiling like she was made of lava. Ah, oh, they were. All right. Oh. No. <laughs> this is I exactly why you all need to be just out playing a sport, learning a craft. <laughs> yes. This just sounds about silly. So, you have revenge sex <laughs> with one lot. of his friends. And did you use protection? No. And then, how many times did you have sex with this friend of his? Multiple times. Multiple times. But were you also still being intimate with Mr. Hollis? Well, we had we broke in, up. We had broke up. When me and his friend had an affair, we wasn't together. We was not together at all. An affair. <laughs> 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 so, eventually, you find out you're pregnant. Take... Now, Ms. Shans finds out she's pregnant. Ain't no surprise there. She picks up her phone and beeps Mr. Hollis's friend. Ring, ring, ring. I'm pregnant. Surprising thing? He's pretty excited about the baby. But here's the plot twist. She also tells Mr. Hollis she's pregnant, too. Now the smoke turns into fire. Ma'am. All right. You find out you're pregnant. You tell the other guy first. What was his response? Well, he was happy. He was happy. And so you also tell Mr. Hollis? I told him, like, not as soon as I got pregnant. He ended up finding out on the streets. But I end up I, telling I, I him. I, I end up school. telling him. I end up telling him. And I end up... He, I guess he ended up telling his mom as well. And I was telling them that it's a possibility that it can be him or the friend. I never told the friend that it can be a possibility with another guy. I only told his mother that it can be a possibility with another guy. Mm -hmm. I and never why'd told you the make other that guy. choice? Because I don't you, know. You... Fast forward to when the baby is born. Mr. Hollis is nowhere to be found. Not at the hospital, not anywhere. Guess who shows up? The best friend. Now I was expecting that to happen. Hold your seat tight because another plot twist is about to storm up. Mr. Hollis says he didn't even know she was pregnant or she went into labor. When he found out, she wouldn't let him be around her. I smell something fishy. Miss Shans, when you give birth, who was with you? The friend was with me when Aiden was born. In the hospital? In the hospital. In and labor. In labor. And my mom, I sent my mom there because I knew there was a possibility that my son could be the dad as well. He favored my son when he was born. So, wait, and, and so, Mr. Hollis, you just didn't want to be there or you felt like you weren't invited? <laughs> I, I wasn't never invited. Like, anything I ever found out about the baby, I found out about myself. Like, I ain't even know she was in labor. I had to find that out. Like, I was walking out of Fort Pierce, somebody came to me and said, does I have her baby? Da -da -da -da. I ain't even know she was in labor. I ain't even know she was in the hospital. I ain't know. Like, when she first got in labor, I ain't know. So, Miss Shans, if the other guy was at the birth, why are you now saying Mr. Ho and Judge Lauren couldn't hide her irritation from these kids no more. It was turning into a reality show for kids, and the judge was not going to have any of that in her courtroom. Things just kept going from bad to worse. His father. Because, like, he... My baby looked had more futures than him than the other guy. Yes, he did. Or he looked... He, he did. Not look, I'm just trying like to protect my son. All. I um I I um uh, FaceTimed her and told her that it looked like my I said um Aiden looks like a mirror. And what did she say, Mom? Um, it's it's a possibility. <laughs> so you admitted that it was a really? possibility. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I did admit that it was a possibility. Okay, so from that point, when you decide the baby looks more like Mr. Hollis, does the other guy sign the birth certificate? No, he didn't have his ID at the time. That's that's why he didn't sign. He wasn't intending on signing. <laughs> at what point do you just say, you know what? I don't think you're the father. I think Mr. Hollis is my child's father. Do you ever have that conversation? Do you ever just come clean with the friend? Yeah. No, I never even talked to him about it. So, to this day, the other person doesn't know that Mr. Hollis could be Aiden's biological father? He hears it off the streets, because everybody on the streets they tell him that the baby looked like Aiden, the baby looked like a mirror, the baby looked like a mirror. He think he is child. But in his mind, he's running around the streets. 
<laughs> saying, this is my baby. They're yes, beefing no, over it. That him and my son is, is beefing over it. Beefing over it? Yeah, they got into it. We got into it a few times, to my son. Like, like, it's not no beef. On. He ain't no beef with me no more. Like, I, I, I let the whole thing go. Like, the whole thing. But it was a bunch of mess. I can't tell you why songs about it. What you mean? He made a song, Your Honor, and it specifically says, about a year ago, I fell in love with a thought. That's what it says. <laughs> and I can see that you didn't appreciate that, Michelle. No, it hurted me. Like, when I heard the song at first, especially the first song, I forgot how, I forgot how it started, but he put my name in it, the friend name in it, but he erased it and changed it to a whole different... different word. And then he came out with the... I and we the have fight. some of the lyrics to that song. <laughs> and I can't be cuffing Columbus Ho. About a year ago, I was in love with a thought. <laughs> it just keeps getting Worse. Worse. <laughs> After all the back and forth of kids giving birth to kids, the moment of truth is finally here. It's time we draw the curtains on these kids' funny behaviors and find out the truth. Take a seat back and focus your eyes on the judge. When it comes to 15-month-old Aiden Shands, it has been determined by this court Mr. Hollis, you are not the father. These guys were like Bonnie and Clyde of relationship chaos. After a ton of accusations, denials, and drama, Mr. Page was taking Ms. Brooks to court over a paternity chessboard that wouldn't checkmate. Get ready for some serious DNA drama. Ms. Brooks, you state that after getting out of a nine-year relationship, you met and fell in love with Mr. Page, a younger man who you say swept you off your feet. You claim both you and Mr. Page plan to have a child together, but since giving birth to your son, Ivion, Mr. Page is now denying the child you so desperately wanted to have with him. Yes, is that correct? Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Page, you state you know the child isn't yours because Ms. Brooks was having an ongoing affair with another man by the name of Tony Wilson. Yes, Your Honor. You say Mr. Wilson, who is also here today, claims to be the father of her son and has even posted pictures on social media to that effect. Yes, Your Honor. This was a drama that had never come to the television screen before. There was cheating. There was another guy who claimed the baby was his and hold up because this will blow your mind. There was a lesbian involved too. Now that's some juicy drama, trust me. Right now, our relationship is on the rocks. We really have no relationship. All we do is fuss and fight. He's denying our baby. So you don't think it's your baby, Mr. Page? No, it ain't mine. Why do you think that? Because she, she, every time I come, come home from work, she out with Mr. Wilson. So I don't know what she's doing at work. When I'm at work, she calls me. When I'm at work, I call her. But when I'm getting off, she'll don't pick up, don't nothing. I call everybody that she hangs around with, they won't pick up. You're so to me, I think she tells them not to pick up the phone when everything is going on. When I come home, he might have my child holding him, whatever. I don't know. You're the one that disappears every day. You're the one with the gambling problem. Going to work problem. isn't disappearing. He goes to work every day. Yes, he does. And when he gets paid, the next day, he is broke. He goes to the casino and spends all his money and may bring $30 inside of the home and then expect me to take care of him from the two weeks after that until he gets paid again. This is a routine that Mr. Page does. So this relationship is in trouble, not just because of the paternity issue, but other issues as well. It stimulates from the paternity issues because at first, when we first got together, it was lovely. When we first, when I first was pregnant, he did everything. He was there, he was good, like, during the pregnancy. And then everything changed. So I, I think it has a lot to do with... No, everything um, ain't changed, Your Honor. What changed is her not being home when I come home at night with her and my son being around Mr. Wilson, her friend. 
That's where it comes from. This man, Mr. Wilson, was he the ex you were in a nine-year relationship with? The ex that I was in a nine-year relationship with was a female. That means I had no penetration whatsoever in nine years. And she's it's still no talking to way. her now. Well, clearly, she's not the father. Right. Right. <laughs> Mr. Page came prepared. Trust me, he had all the evidence in this world to prove his doubts right. Was the evidence substantial? Oh, trust me, they most certainly were. If this was a trial for jail time, Miss Brooks would for sure be doing some real time. Damn. I want to understand your doubt. About... My because you were in a sexual relationship with her during this time. Yes. So you feel like she was cheating on you sometime during the window of conception. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Tell me about How? that doubt. What substantiates your doubt about the paternity? She knew Black longer than she knew me, so they've been messing around or whatever they've been doing. That's... I know Black's Facebook page is dedicated just to her and my son. That's and just... I have evidence really? right here saying that, yes. Let me see this evidence. Jerome. That is just my friend. We take tell pictures. Me if that we look, go out, please tell me if that honor. looks like a relationship or a friendship. We go out, Your Honor. He helps. There's no out. space in between it's the bodies, career. Your Honor. They right up. If they wanted to turn around and kiss, they could kiss. We are just that close. Like so, that's how close this we are. is a picture of Mr. Wilson. This is his profile picture, and that's you, Miss yes. Brooks, and Mr. Wilson. Yes, that's me and Mr. Wilson. Um. <laughs> that, uh, picture is just a picture, like, it, that's it. Right, and that's the next and one that I got right here, Your Honor. These are all photos of you? All dedicated Mr. to Mr. Wilson? Well, that's the baby in yes. there? Yes. yes. But that's just a picture of me and the baby, though. But, but they always his, with each other. It's one of his profile pictures. Yes, I'm the best thing that's... I mean, look at that. <laughs> and then that's Mr. Wilson with... Ivion. Yes, and he has been there. Like, he is really upset. The evidence bomb drops and things start to get pretty intense. Even Judge Lauren is short of words. They start to argue back and forth like two couples who can't wait to get a divorce. It's a roller coaster of zero trust right here. Hey, Milk, I buy what I got. When buy you're not for there, he is child. there. Mr. Page the does do things, but he does the bare minimum. I do the bare minimum, but I buy milk whenever she needs to. I'm the first person she calls when she needs something. Mr. Wilson isn't the first person that calls. When she needed Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson's not there. He's over wherever he's at getting drunk or whatever he's doing. She doesn't help me out. She calls me and tells me what to do, and I have to find a way to do it. What am I helping you out for? I'm not your father. Right, you're the baby mother, so it should be 50-50. I should help and you should help. What? You don't okay. help me do anything. Well, if I just come out of a high-risk pregnancy and the baby's only eight months old, what did you expect me to do? That's when you were supposed to stand up and be um, there. The pregnancy and be was there eight for... months ago. When I had the baby in the hospital, he didn't. He wasn't even there. He he was there for the the I, birth. Oh, hold on, that's a lie. I was there. I waited till he was born and I left. I had to go to work. I can't call out two, three days in a row thinking I'm gonna still have a job. They don't care about that, so I had to go to work. I'm you afraid to ask this, but. After Mr. Page left, did Mr. Wilson make an appearance? Yes. Yes, he made an appearance, but way later. Because I, I made him He didn't think... come to the next day, but when I come to the, to the place, I got my son ready to walk out the door. There's some, some lady like, oh, that's not your son. I seen some other guy holding him. Like, Really? Yes. Mr. Page's anger bars keep rising by the minute. He finds out that his baby mama has been spending a whole lot of time with the other guy, Mr. Wilson, who she claims is a friend. Does he seem happy about that? Absolutely wrong! His anger boils beyond the roof and nothing is calming him down. When Mr. Wilson walks around my son, he does not Ever. let it be known that he's not the, the father. He does not let it be known that he's the godfather. But how is they that my fault? He's his father, because you're right with him. What do you how is that about? my fault? No, and you know how I feel about that. And I'm Warren talking Lake. to you. <laughs> Um, Your Honor, right now? And he's now? walking around telling them that they're having sex and all this... He's saying what? That they're having sex. Who's Friends he telling rumors. this to? It's wrong. Yes. Prepare yourself because things are about to take an unexpected turn. Guess who walks in the court? Yup, it's bloody Mr. Wilson. The heat in the courtroom intensifies as he walks in. Mr. Page isn't having the best day right now, trust me. 
The things Mr. Wilson said on the stand were unbelievable. I'll have you go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Mr. Wilson, thank you for joining us. You're welcome, Your Honor. Uh, please describe for the court your relationship with Ms. Brooks. Oh, well, we're still best friends. That's, that's like one of the fellas, you know? That's my, that's my homie, except for she's a female. So you're best friends? Yes. What is your relationship like with her son, Ivion? Well, Ivion, that's my god's son. You know, I treat him like my son. I love him. Uh, on my lunch breaks, I stop past Sam. I spend time with him, take him to the park. That's a lie, you know. How would that be a lie? You never dare. You too busy playing the game, chilling with your homeboys. It was this girl I was dealing with, and to make her mad and make her jealous because she had an issue with Miss Brooks because her hair was long and she wore tracks, and Miss Brooks has on fingernails, she has on press ons. I was just making her be jealous. But due to her, due to social media, social media is something else. Let me tell you, she put all my business up. I think Santa Claus even know about the situation. At this point, all hell breaks loose. They all can't wait to rip each other's throats apart. Mr. Page is yelling. Mr. Brooks is yelling. Even on the stand, Mr. Wilson keeps throwing his bombs. Trust me, you wouldn't want to be in that courtroom. No, not at all. But he's telling people you have. Right. He's telling people he's your child's father, and you tell him, Mr. Page, he's not the child's father. But your That's Honor, where his doubt. But, Your Honor, I knew... Every time I go to work, her and my son go over his house. Every day. The moment of truth finally arrives, and it starts to feel like judgment day for Miss Brooks. Time to spill the beans on whether this relationship had a future or not. Are you ready? Well, here it comes. Please. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Brooks versus Page, as it pertains to eight-month-old Ivion Page, as to whether Mr. Page or Mr. Wilson is the biological father, it has been determined by this court. This almost felt like betrayal on Mr. Patterson's path. After taking care of the baby and making sure he was present every day of the kid's life, Miss Knight wakes up one morning and says, he isn't the father. We're about to dive into a tale of delusion. Grab your pie and enjoy the ride. Patterson, you opened your case today to prove that you are four-year-old Demarcus Patterson Jr.'s biological father. You named him and have cared for your junior since birth and are furious the defendant now claims another man is his father. Is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Knight, you testify that even though your son has Mr. Patterson's name, it does not change the fact that you are unsure he is DeMarcus Jr.'s biological father. We are about to enter the domain of questionable romance where these guys' relationship wasn't exactly a fairy tale. A saga involving two men, a lady, and a four-year-old boy. Defy, you've been there since day one. Please explain. I've been there since birth, you know since he came out the womb, since he entered his world. When the doctor first, you know, held him up and finally gave him to him, I witnessed him just completely quit crying and looked me dead in my eyes. And that's at that moment, I knew I became someone's father. So, Miss Knight, you contend that Mr. Patterson is not DeMarcus's biological father? I let DeMarcus know when I got pregnant that there was a possibility that I could be pregnant by someone else. Well, the doubts and reservations were running pretty deep over here. But no worries, because baby daddy went on a long rant explaining why he had his doubts. And boy, did he bag some solid points. Uh, yes, Your Honor, in a way, when she first told me she was pregnant, that's when we was like, I guess you, I guess you could say doing the house hopping thing, because like in order- Doing the what? The house hopping thing, because when she moved out of her parents' house, she ain't had nowhere to go, so let her live there too. I mean, that's how we start our relationship. We were together every day since then. DeMarcus ended up cheating on me within the t time we were together, and I ended up leaving with Ladarius. Uh, that day that she left, I ain't hear from her for a month or two. So wait, she you're just... saying she just left the house and you didn't hear from her for a month or two? Yeah, I was supposed to pick up from work, but my grandma made me feel worse about it because she was like, she knew she was too fast for me anyways, but oh. I'm just going by what we both. And had things started to take a different turn as the truth started to unfold. Ms. Knight was not a faithful partner. 
The tension started to fill the courtroom, and even Judge Lauren was amazed by the things she heard. Yup, they were crazy. She go. Well, what is Never going on no. here? I decided what? to leave because I wasn't over the fact that he cheated on me with this female. So, yeah, I did that. But I found out I was pregnant while I was with Ladarius. Okay, right I want to go step by step because I want to understand. When you left, you ended up with Mr. Siegler. Right. Which is the other possible father. Right. We ended up having protective sex that night and then we ran out of condoms and while we were doing it... So, so you I got back together with Mr. Patterson. Because I looked, me and Ladarius were like oil and water and we could not do it. So I told and begged DeMarcus... I didn't beg him. I said, DeMarcus, come get me. And DeMarcus pulled up in, in the car and was like, where's your stuff? He carried my stuff on his back and got in the car and we went on about our way. Him knowingly knowing that I could be pregnant by somebody else, he was okay with the situation. Ms. Knight finds out she's pregnant. Well, that's not surprising. Accusations start flying about the courtroom like it's a competition. They go on making a fuss about what to name the baby. It turns into a whole charade and no one can make any sense of what's going on. The question I keep asking is how they even became a couple? Was there, what happened? Demarcus oh, yeah. was there, he was there when my water broke. We woke him up, said, baby, my water broke. Time to go to the hospital. He hopped up, all right, let's do this. So we was in the hospital that whole day, had the baby. He didn't get to cut the umbilical cord because the doctor took it upon himself to cut it. Yeah, he did But that. that was it. When he had the baby, DeMarcus looked over, said, that's my baby. We, named, we ain't naming him no Christian. We naming him DeMarcus Patterson. Did you? Yes, Your Honor. I mean, I was gonna do the DNA test. Okay, And I right. looked at him, and then that's when I threw the DNA test out of the picture. At that moment, DeMarcus said, that is my baby. His name is gonna be DeMarcus Latarius Patterson Jr. And I don't care what y'all gotta say, and that's what it so, was. So, but, okay, but if you know the real truth, and you know that he might not be the biological father, why give in to the name and name this child after him because me, knowing that there's a love, possibility? I was in love with him. Mm. We were together all the time. I mean, he demanded it that that's what he wanted. He denied the DNA test. So I'm like, you know what? Sure. We're going to roll with this. Let's go. Let there's a whole lot of craziness going on right now. As things Judge Lauren starts to dig a little deeper, she starts to find out the most shocking things. And when I say shocking, trust me, your jaws are going to drop. My heart, I so solemnly wanted it to be DeMarcus's baby. Right. And in your young mind, this is how you clean up this whole mess. And so in the last four years, has Mr. Patterson been there for DeMarcus? He, he's been there. He has. Does DeMarcus Jr. call Mr. Patterson daddy? Yeah. Oh, he's Take so handsome. <laughs> At what point did you realize that it wasn't all working out? That that it really could potentially be the other man's child. Well, it was a conversation between me and DeMarcus we had often. I mean, DeMar DJ turned about three months and I looked at him one time and I was like, wow, he kind of looked like Ladarius. Oh, so you all were open about this? Yes, we were always open. He, we would take rides to the gas station. He'd show me pictures of Ladarius. Like, you sure this ain't that? You sure this ain't I ain't gonna lie. First and we I were like, open about up. it, all very open about it. I started seeing his ears slant out and I was like, hold up, you know? Just like, I don't know though. But he's four now. Oh, he's four right. now, so I look at and it now. And the conversation just... about DNA tests, is not, this is not the first time I brought it up. I done state appointments. No one wants to help me with half the payment. Nah, I so, help you with that. Now, it's just, I know you're when... evil. If they say that I don't get to take my name off or have a DNA test, you'll put me on child support if you could. I'm look, being real. you I know it's a possibility you know that you're the father, and Ladarius yeah. knows the possibility that's the father, and ain't none of y'all giving me nothing anyway, so you think you don't deserve to I go on it? I his first pair of sneakers. I buy him everything. You I can't mean, say yeah, when I ask, when I ask you, when I ask Demarcus, to do something, he will, when I ask. But the only reason why he stopped doing the things, like, he used to come in and just do it without me having to ask. But because I chose to allow Felicia and La Ladarius in his life, DeMarcus told me, I'm going to go ahead and take a step back and let De Ladarius step in since now, that. I ain't that. say that now. Yes, I said that, I was just talking. Now, he still oh, say Felicia, that. Felicia, hold on. You gestured and said you decided to let Felicia, that is your witness here. My, my god, mom. That's Mr. Sigler's mother. Right. So that's the other guy's mother. Right. And so you said Miss Sigler is your godmother. Right. So the other possible father is your god brother? Right. Oh. Ladarius. Why are you making this look bad? Lord. You decided to let her and the other guy in DeMarcus Jr.'s life. life as well. So you didn't want either guy to be left out until you knew for sure? I guess. I mean... <laughs> Their stories stop to make sense and add up.
It sounded like it was being made up and Judge Lauren just wasn't having it anymore. She asks the other man in the picture to step into the courtroom and my God, did he have a lot to say. To the court. Right. Let's take a look at that. This is a picture of Miss Sigler as a baby. It's the other one. That didn't do much for me. The other one did. And this is Demarcus Jr. Right. That's the one she sent me and me and D Demarcus sat in the car and was like, that's DJ. And when you saw those pictures, that's you when felt I, like... when I really started letting him in DJ's life. That's when Mama came and got him every other day when she can or when I needed her to. He'll go pick him up, drop him off over there. All that. It's, we are a big, happy family. Oh, I don't know why he pretended. Up, <laughs> oh, so this is, this is a whole village. <laughs> hey, to be honest... No, I'm though, serious. Hey. We eat this to get, as a family and all. All of you all right. together. We never had no problem. The reason why, in my head, I strongly wanted DeMarcus to be the bi biological father was because they told me I got pregnant August 28th through the 2nd, or the 3rd of um, September. I was with DeMarcus August 28th, but by the 2nd of um, September, I was with Ladarius, so I didn't know. I honestly oh, did not yeah, know. So it was crazy. that soon after. Don't act like it's crazy. You knew. Before we go any further, I think it's time I hear from Mr. Sigler. Jerome, can you please escort Mr. Sigler into the courtroom? Yes. Thank you for joining us today. Pleasure. As you are aware, we are discussing the paternity of Demarcus Patterson Jr., a young boy who has Mr. Patterson's name but could potentially have your DNA. Yes, ma'am. Do you believe you are Demarcus Jr.'s biological father? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. You do? Yes, Your Honor. Why do you believe that? All right. In the midst of me and Kaylin having dealings or intimacy, I, I was the one who told her she was pregnant. Oh. And when I told her she was pregnant, she say, well, if you feel like that, take me to the clinic. So I did. So when we got back from that situation, we had conflict. She like... Now, this is where it all gets really messed up. When I say messed up, I mean really, really messed up. The four-year-old boy calls both men daddy. How does a kid call two different men daddy? This really is a baby daddy war. Listen, I want to know from Mr. Sigler, what are your hopes, sir? Do you hope DeMarcus Jr. is your biological child? The love that I have for him is the same love that he has for me. Mm -hmm. I know one thing about this young man. If don't nobody else love me, he gonna love me. And so, Mr. Patterson, I have to ask you, how do you feel knowing that your son is calling another man daddy, too? Be honest. I used to think about it hard back in the days, but it's her mess. She got to clean it up. That's what we're here for today, you know? It's all of your mess. Yeah. Thank you. Because if you're not the father, this four-year-old young boy has your name. And if you are the father, he's still calling Mr. Sigler daddy, too, and would presumably miss his presence in his life if Mr. Sigler decided he no longer wanted to be a part of his life. So this is a tangled web. Hold your breath now, because the DNA test results were ready to be revealed. The tension was escalating, emotions running high, and the truth was about to hit like a plot twist. Who's the real baby daddy? Let's see. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Patterson versus Knight, pertaining to whether Mr. Patterson or Mr. Sigler is the biological father of four-year-old Demarcus Patterson. Brace yourselves, people, for a roller coaster of love, doubt, and unexpected connections in the weirdest ways. Because Miss Brown and Mr. Rutledge was in a paternity battle over the one-year-old baby girl. Are you ready? Well, let's have it. Ms. Brown, you say the only thing that matters to you today is the future of your one-year-old daughter, Sanaya. Yes, Your Honor. You state you're here to prove the defendant, Mr. Rutledge, is her biological father because she needs two parents, yet he's seen her only once in her life. Aww. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Rutledge, you say despite Ms. Brown's denial, there are indeed 
other men that could be her child's father. Yes, Your Honor. Your sister, Ms. Rutledge, is also involved in this case, and we'll hear more from her shortly. So, Ms. Brown, why are you so sure Mr. Rutledge is your daughter's father? Yes, Your Honor. Um, me and Mr. Rutledge, you know, we had sexual relations and things like that. And my doctor told me that I conceived May 25th, which was Memorial's Day, which I was over there um, at his mother's house. She left to go to a cookout and everything. And me and him, you know, had sexual relationships on that day. I did not have sex with anyone else on that day. Did not have sex with anyone else around that time. Now, yes, you know, before me and Mr. Rutledge got serious, I did, you know, I had relations with other people, but never around the time that I conceived or never around the time that I got pregnant. So, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Jumping straight into the not-so-romantic fairy tale. This happens to be a saga involving cousins, brothers, and a daughter caught in the middle. Trust me when I tell you, your ears aren't prepared for what you're about to hear. No, I do not, you are. Please, tell me... <laughs> tell me what your side of the story is. Well, first of all, me and Ms. Brown was never in a relationship. It was only sexual relationship. Oh, no. I, 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 met, I met Ms. Brown from, she was seeing my cousin, they was dating for a while. Um, after they broke up, they split up, whatever. She got with my other cousin, had a one, had a one, night, had a one night stand with him, departed from him, and got with my brother. Oh. Now, let me tell you this, when she got with my brother, she ran the same story on my brother and told my brother that she was pregnant by him. She tells, she tells my brother that, oh, I need you to give me money for a morning after pill. Oh. It was pretty obvious that there were doubts flying around the courtroom, but no doubts, because baby mama had quite a lot to say justifying all her actions. Trust me, she spilled some real juice here. The judge, along with the rest of the court, could just sit there and listen. It was almost like she was unstoppable. Brown, you left these facts out. Yes, I left them out, Your Honor, because they're not facts. First of all, okay. you don't have to pay for a morning after pill because everyone knows that a morning after pill is free whether you have insurance or not. So I never would say, can you pay for a morning after pill? As far as me having um, one night stands and all that with yes. his cousins, if he felt that I had one night stands with his cousin or his brother, why would you turn around and have unprotected sex with me? I never <laughs> was that type of person. He knew. He knew who I was, he knew how I was, he knew everything before, you know, any, before we started even messing with each other because we had mutual friends, we were around each other. He had a chance to get to know me and everything and as you can see, he still decided to have contact with me so obviously I couldn't have been that much of a bad person that he's dating right now. But... He was always at my house until he went missing for like four days and, you know, I didn't know where he was at because usually he would at least text me or call me even if he didn't come over. And like out of nowhere, like for four days straight, I didn't hear from him or anything. And he came back out of nowhere, new sneakers, dressed and everything. Now, mind you, in the, you know, in the midst of everything, I went on Facebook and seen pictures of him and his um, daughter's mother together. So I'm like, okay, so this is where he's at. You know, I'm all upset and everything. So I couldn't wait till he came so I can, you know, talk junk to him about what was going on. And when he came in the house thinking everything was okay, I'm like, no, you was just, you know, with your child's mother. You were gone, where were you? And he got mad because I was questioning him. And that's when, you know, the drama started. And he like, oh, you're not my girlfriend. And that's when I found out. From my knowledge, I'm 22 years old. He's about to be 31 in September. I didn't know. He could have made that quite clear, you know, that we weren't in a relationship. I didn't know. I only knew what I was being led to believe. If someone's coming over your house every day. So, Mr. Rutliff. You've now heard mm -hmm. that. Moving on from that drama, we jump straight into yet another chaotic part. The supposed baby daddy had the nerve to question mommy's version. And yep, she was not having it. Wait for the shock because your jaws are about to drop. It was just a casual sexual relation. And that's all it was. That's all she good for. Um, Your Honor. <laughs> your Honor. Hold on. Your Honor, let's I... be respectful, Mr. Rutledge. Okay, I'm, um, I'm, I'm Your sorry, Honor, Your Honor, can I just I say this? Um, he said that that's all I'm good for, but I must have been good for a lot because he used to ride his nine-year-old's daughter peeking gray bikes to my house all the time with his 30-year-old son. Mm -hmm. He has... I have no reason to sit there and have to lie or I'm, gonna, I'm not going to come here and lie or anything like mm -hmm. it. I know what I used to be and I have changed a lot and also in the same breath, like I said, I'm 22 years old. When you say I know what I used to be, what do you mean? And I'm happy you got yourself together. Mm -hmm. 
But I need to ask you, when you were looking for love in all the wrong places mm -hmm. and you were maybe being a little more sexually promiscuous than you are now, right. was this at all during the window of conception? No, no. This... So that he could maybe be doubtful about the paternity? No, no. I'm not saying that, oh, he should, you know, he should just be so sure. I'm not saying that at all. Next up, we were about to step into the whirlwind of confusion and desperation surrounding the window of conception. The parties involved were drowning in uncertainty, conflicting stories, and a questionable relationship status. The defendant's reaction? Priceless! You could read it off her face like you were watching it from the cinema. Mm -hmm. You told Mr. Rutledge. Um, I told his sister first. Miss All right, so you told his sister first. Yes. How did that conversation go? Um, I just told her I, I told her I was pregnant. Um, she, you know, she kind of was in shock and stuff, and she just let me know, like, you know, you do know, like, if you decide to keep this baby, it's a chance that you're gonna go through it by yourself, um, because he does have other multiple children. But when I um told her that I was pregnant, after I told her, I called Mr. Rutledge. I called his, I called him and let him know, like, yes, I'm, you know, I'm pregnant. Um, I told him actually to come for, to the house first. I'm like, um, we need to talk. He like, talk about what? So I'm like, I'd rather you come here and talk to you in person. He like, no, what is it? So I told him like, I'm pregnant. So he kind of got quiet for a little bit. He like, you pregnant? He like, so what you gonna do? Then he like, never mind, I'll be over there. Which like, probably like 30 minutes to an hour later, he came over there on his daughter's pink and gray bike and wanted to know, you know, what was going on. So about the pregnancy. So, you know, I showed, he didn't believe me at first. So I had to show him the paper. I showed him the paper and everything. Like, see, you know, I'm pregnant. And basically, he was just like, you know, he already got kids. He don't know what I'm gonna do. He really kind of leaned towards me getting an abortion. He wanted me to get an abortion. But he was like, you know, but if she's mine, he always kept saying like, if she's mine. So he's like, but if she's mine, I will take care of her. So. Well, Miss Brown wasn't letting anyone get in her way. But hold on. Now it was Mr. Rutledge's turn to narrate his side of the story. And oh boy, did it end up in a battle of I said and she said. Like she said, I went over to her house and everything, and um, we talked about her or whatever, and I told her that I wanted a DNA test. And that was because you were doubtful from the start? From the beginning. So, at that point, what real proof did you have to be doubtful? I used to pick Jasmine up, Miss Brown, from Dude's house. She'd be, on, she'd be around me texting dudes. This is my friend, this is my homeboy. We just cool, this and this and that. And first of all, it was never about the baby. It was all about she wanted to be with me. She didn't, she don't care whether the baby minds or not. It appears the sister was more involved than the baby daddy in this whole chaotic mess. And her presence wasn't making things easier as well. Her comments, accompanied by the vile statements of the defendant, were fanning the paternity flames even more. No words for the conversations these guys were having. Sisters, Mrs. Rutledge was there when I had the baby. She was there like every day um, while I was in the hospital. She was there. She sent her mother pictures and I guess she sent Mr. Rutledge pictures and he called and he told her that he hoped my baby died and that he don't want my baby <laughs> around that other children. And that's something Honor. that came out of her mouth. That now is she wanna stand here and try to act like she the that best is sister incorrect, in the world. But, she, but everything that I know that he said about me, mostly she told me. Just that like is he said incorrect. he didn't want my, kid, my daughter around his other kids, that came out of her mouth. Okay, no. And breathe, Miss Brown, just breathe. Is this true? I have to ask Your you, Honor, Mr. Rutledge. I'm gonna you, tell you. Please don't tell this court you said something I that would, vile. I would never say that. I have kids of my own. She said, I hope the baby dies. I'm not gonna tell you what she told me about my kids. She came to my <laughs> mom's house, said she's gonna leave her daughter on the doorstep of my mom. I said, don't do yes. that because I'm not there, no one's there. She said, I don't care, man. I'm coming there. Uh -uh. She took a picture of the door yes, and sent it to my no. phone. Your Honor, for the phone, Your Honor, Your Honor, actually, the baby, yes, she was gonna drop the baby off. Your Honor, actually, yes, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I, I did not, the day that I took the picture of his door was not the day that I so-called told him something like that. I took a picture, I came to his house because me and him had got into it on the phone. He telling me, oh, she don't look nothing like me. That's not my daughter. And yes, I was enraged. I was very upset. If, you, if somebody tell you they hope your child die and stuff, you're gonna lose all respect that you have for them. I don't care what the respect. problem, what the rage, what the issue is. I don't know how the two of you can be having conversations that contain statements like, I hope your baby dies and I'm gonna run some kids over with a car. The charade with these guys was unmatched. Everything was rising to the roof. And Miss Rutledge was not done interfering. Nope! 
If only things had remained calm and collected. Was that too much to ask for? I guess it was. I don't expect him. He doesn't have to go through me to see her. Yeah. I was the one who told her Get she out. had no business dealing with him, being that he already had five kids, four different baby mothers. She right. already knew that. Right. I'm the one who told her that. But you're I'm the one who told her to stay away from All my right. brother, but she, she kept on communicating with him. Okay. So when she took it upon herself, she's a grown woman. I'm not gonna keep telling you anymore. I understand right. your statement. I'd like to hear from your witness, Miss Brown. Please stand, ma'am. And state your name for the court. LaKanya Brown. Ms. Brown, what do you understand about this situation? Some stuff that she's saying not true and a lot of stuff that they saying not true. That's like, a like that's, that's a my lie. niece and I love her, but I'm a, it, what's real is real. Like, and at the end of the day, I feel like if you know it's a possibility that this is your baby, then why not? And yes, when my niece was running the streets and partying she and doing what is. she did, she did abandon her kids. She's pregnant now. And she Shut left her kids. That's kid. not none of your business she to have a baby so you can stop worrying about she's mine. She's pregnant now. She but she's not she wild. So what? But why Let's get some order. We've seen that these guys had zero doubts. And they were standing by those claims too. No one was going to back down. But the question remained. Why did they let things get this messy? I told his sister, I, I went down to our courthouse, I got the paperwork, and she said, well, I don't know if he's gonna go take it. And he never showed up to take the test. He it never showed up. Why, it Mr. Rutledge, why not take the test? She never showed up. It was two the times test. that I he was came up. It was just recently, Your Honor. It was just, she just had to go to court again for him and he didn't show up. Ma'am, the, the first, first one, one, he was the, notified yeah, because one. I actually met with, with her aunt. She gave me the paperwork. She told me that they were filing for paternity. I told her that I would go ahead and relay it to him, which I did. When the court came, when the day of the court came, neither one of them showed. The first one, Jasmine so, showed up. The second one, neither one of them showed let's, up. Let's, let's make something clear, because it's not a lot of talking, but it's I just a don't lot feel like we're getting anywhere. People. It's a lot of drama you with You know, Jerome, people. it's like we're running into a brick wall over and over again, and I just keep thinking about Sanaya saying to myself, if I'm this frustrated, <laughs> what kind of nonsense is this baby living in? <laughs> Miss Rutman. Do you really believe he's her child's father? I believe there's a possibility. Do I believe 100%? No, because like I said, she was in and out of my home as well. She was there at my home as well. And I physically witnessed her talking to other men. So you so I can't strong say for doubt. sure that 100%. But the reason why I was involved, because I felt obligated. My brother did have sex with her. So there is a possibility that Sanaya might be his daughter. And so Mr. Rutledge, are you hoping Sanaya is your daughter? Because I'm not reading any emotion or commitment or anything from well, you as it relates to this child. It's just the character. It's just the character of her. Like, I, I would be happy if she is mine, but at the same time, I would be sad because the mother that she has, the mother that she has to grow up with. You understand what I'm saying? Because she's been through a lot. I just don't understand, though, because... When you lay down with somebody with no protection... Right. ...on more than one occasion... Right. ...are you allowed to get up later and talk about their character? Yeah. Right. After you potentially made a child with them? I mean, I'm just... Hold your breath now, because the DNA test results were ready to be revealed. The tension was escalating, emotions running high, and the truth was about to hit like a plot twist. Who's the real baby daddy? Well, here it comes, people. In the case of Brown versus Rutledge and Rutledge, when it comes to one-year-old Sanaya Rutledge Brown, Mr. Rutledge, it has been determined by this court that you are her father. What? Now what? What I gotta say now? What do y'all- Mr. Wilson here had quite a lot to say about Miss Dean for turning his home into an abode of love. It gets worse as we jump into the drama of their little daughter caught in the crossfire of a relationship that's pretty much about to be over. I know you're ready, so let's dive into it, shall we? 
case today to prove that Ms. Dean's 17-month-old daughter, Jakiah, is not your biological child. You say you moved her into your home, laid out the red carpet, only to find out she was rolling around with other men in your home. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Dean, you say Mr. Wilson has turned his back on your daughter and he welcomed her into the world and signed her birth certificate. You claim Mr. Wilson is her father and his denial is hurting you and your daughter. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Wilson, why don't you believe... Here's how it all started, people. The plaintiff claimed he rolled out the red carpet only to be met with nothing short of disappointment. Oh, the drama! Accusations from planning the baby to concessions was the business of that day in this courtroom. And trust me, there was no mercy. I don't believe I'm the father because I have been fooled by multiple females in the past. Oh, uh, What do you mean you planned this? And I have been going down this rodeo for far too long. I signed on a birth certificate. Um, I'm, I'm not there physically. I just can't handle it because she... Just, just no consistency. I just want, I just want the answers today so I can just have closure. So, Mr. Wilson, you saying you've been fooled once, you've been fooled twice, but you're not gonna be fooled again. Correct, Your Honor. And, Ms. Dean, you say this is unnecessary. It really is. Go ahead, explain. It really is. He's being not only belligerent and lying, him and his family is lying because not only did we plan this baby, we had concessions. I had my period. You had concessions? You know, we, 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 we was literally getting down, doing things besides just... Oh, that... Well, these guys were locked in and coming for each other like they didn't have a baby together. And just like that, the Facebook shenanigans and funny chats brought the child into the picture, along with a whole lot of trouble. He was on my Facebook page, liking my comments so and was, you my, was my pictures. Boo. So was my And she, she hit me up like, what you up to? And this, that, and the other. And at the time, I was taking care of my stepfather, had my own house, car working, things of that nature. And I, because I had previous relationships with her in the past, I was single, she was single, we decided to meet up. And we met up, and um, we actually planned the baby. The baby was just not a coincidence. I asked so her, could she have her, a though, baby for me? That you planned. Because she knew what I'd been through in the past with not having kids and how desperately I wanted to have a kid. And she had me under the impression that she was willing to go through with it with me. And I did. And you want to see the baby? Then, you know, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I see the baby, but I don't see me in the baby. I see the ex in the baby. <laughs> She posted a Facebook picture of the baby with him, and it looks like his baby, not mine. Who is with him? Ain't no oh, so hold on. I don't, I don't want to jump ahead. Excuse me, y'all. So, no, no. I, I want to understand what you're saying. So, you actually say, I wanted to have this baby together. Yes. And so, where did everything go wrong? Her if story you is not it... consistent. The word. Well, the supposed concessions and Facebook likes turned into a baby making scheme. Mr. Wilson started to build his doubts in his mind, suspecting every single thing that took place. As Miss Dean tries to bounce back, but her storytelling skills take a nosedive. The confusion was real as he dug into the details, trying to unravel the mysteries buried beneath. We, we I had my period in February. We conceived in March, you feel me? When you found out you were pregnant... I called him, he was acting like he was happier than two Jaybirds. All right, so you called Mr. Wilson and he was happy. Yes, and then when the baby came out, you couldn't tell him that that wasn't his kid at all. Okay. So, tell me, Mr. Wilson, you've been formed of the pregnancy. Were you there at the birth? What happens when Ja'Kai nope. was born? That Stop is... talking, Miss Dean. I asked Mr. Wilson a question. I had to be there at the birth, Your Honor, because I cut the umbilical cord for her to have the baby. So I had to be there. So you were there at the birth? Yes, I Did was. Did you go to doctor's appointments for the baby, too? She never followed through with them. All right, but at the birth, you, you came. You I lied. came. And you cut the umbilical cord? I, I did, one, two, three. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, I did. You did? Yes, ma'am. So you accepted this baby as your own? I did. And at that time when you did that, you believed you were the father? Didn't have no doubts. And you basically Ooh, thought you all had brought the plan to fruition that you had said together that we're gonna have a baby and here's my baby that I've been wanting to have. Correct. All right. So you're a proud dad. This is a yeah, beautiful moment dad. and you're blessed. Yes, ma'am. 
So where does it go wrong? Well, we're trying to build a relationship while she's pregnant. And in the mix of us building a relationship, she's getting bigger. She's whispering. I hear echoes. She's always in a different room of the apartment. And I'm like, why are you never around the kids? Why? She said, I, I can't talk now because my, my ex is here. And why is he there at 11 o'clock at night if the kids got school? As the relationship grew, so did the suspicions. Mommy wasted no breath in calling the baby daddy a liar. Are you surprised? Of course you aren't. But hold up because something smells fishy. I smell lies. Things start to get worse, and the truth still remains unclear to the eye. I knew exactly what was going on and with that other guy. He just don't want to take responsibility and be a man to stand oh. up. Oh. He came over to visit. He is lying. He came he over to visit. 30 days? He came. He lied. It wasn't no 30 days. How was it 30 days when we was having concessions all that time? <laughs> he is lying, bro. Stop lying. You was making me upset, I apologize, but he is sitting here lying. Gennaro haven't helped me since day one. Ever since that baby came out, I provided everything. Gennaro was supposed to be living with me. I asked Gennaro to move in with me. I wouldn't have moved with her moved. when I had a bigger home. What do you I mean? I had a three-bedroom, two-bathroom. She was in a two-bedroom apartment and one bathroom in a four-duplex that was not... What foot. do you mean? You proposed uh, I, to me in that duplex. Out. What are you talking about? You're on um, trial. I didn't ask you three days ago. No. That proposal meant nothing. No. no. You lying, baby. No. It's okay. <laughs> you on trial. Yes. Okay, just in case you didn't know. I'm aware of that, Your Honor. You are I work at the court. I'm trial. Really, you don't? And look, look, and if you have too many concessions... <laughs> yeah, concessions. ...you're gonna end up on trial. Lord. <laughs> so, at some point, Mr. Wilson, was it her... Was it something about the relationship between... Fasten your seatbelts. We are about to dive into the birth certificate saga. Mr. Wilson went ahead and talked to the infamous ex, and lo and behold, boom! A new story emerged out of the blues. That didn't stop him from wanting to be a good dad, though. I bet you didn't see that coming. Until she's told me I didn't have sex with him, he's just laying on the couch. Okay, I went with that. When I ran into him at the bus stop, I said, this is a coincidence. Now I can man up and ask him face to face. What's the story in his end? If it add up to what she's telling me, then I have no doubts. But he said the complete opposite of what she's given me. And I asked him, I said, if y is y'all having a child together? He's like, yeah. I said, what y'all supposed to be having? He said, a little girl. He went into details. So there, that Lying. fueled my doubts. Wait a minute. This was before the baby was born? Yes. Before. So why'd you sign the birth certificate? I'm gonna tell you why. When Wait. the baby was born, it was so light and bright. I was like, he's so dark, she's dark. It's no way he's the father. I still didn't have doubts until she called me on FaceTime with him on the phone. And they both confirmed that I was. And said Who what? Was lying. I don't even she was like, that bring me like back that. my baby because I was like telling her I'm not, you know, releasing her right now. There she you said, go. bring me back my baby. It's not your baby. It's his baby. Ah, like the Byron. <laughs> I, I said, you He was like, that's right. That's my baby. Bring back my baby. She said, yeah, yeah, I did it again. I did it again. Bring me back my baby. I looked at the baby, Your Honor, and I said, it's a possibility this could be my baby, but it's in fact her baby. And until I know if it's my baby, I'm going to give it back her baby. I'm not going to oh, hold the baby up, not, not going to take it away from her mom. I'm giving it back to her. That and from there, we, I, I dropped the baby off at a couple of weeks, and I haven't seen the baby since. And, and how long has it been? The Almost. baby is like 17 months. And how long has it been since you've seen her? Moving on, the mama goes into quite a long rant regarding all the disappointments she faced. Mr. Wilson wasn't stepping up to the plate. And when he did, well, things took a different turn once again, and this time it was even messier. He told him that because he would not give back my child. Why would he just have the baby? He had the baby trying to take the baby so he can be with someone else. He, 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 he used me, baby. She watched too many lifetimes, no, Your Honor. No, he used me, Your Honor. After I had that baby, Your Honor, he proposed to me, told me that we were gonna get married, moved in together. He lied, took the baby, tried to move away. Well, tried to... He had the baby in his care. He never took her, because I gave her to him. So, okay, so this is the point I'm getting at. Now, you look at this picture, it just looks like a little daddy. Kissing the baby. It just came out the room. Just too new. Oh, so cute. But that looks like a daddy kissing his baby. You sign the birth certificate, then you go pick the baby and up. And he disappeared. Don't forget that one. With the baby? Disappear. With the baby? Disappear. 
So, at some point, you didn't know where he was with no, the baby? No, I had no idea where he was. How many days was he gone? Months. Approximately about a week okay, and a half. Okay, I want to understand. Oh, I prosecuted you are lying. You should ask your brother. You see how he put his head down? Shame. All right, I want to no hear from you. Here. When siblings get involved, there's so much they have to say. And boy, did she have a lot to say. She was not happy that Miss Dean was back in their lives again. So she showed her distaster, along with the families. That's my brother. That's your brother. All right, what do you know about this? When this baby, you didn't ask when, the she, question, did when, it? when she was finish. pregnant with this baby, yes, I asked my brother, why are you dealing with her again? She did this to you nine years ago. Why are you getting yourself in a situation? We had just lost our father, you know so he grieved into this baby. Girl, go. Okay. It, it was a grievance and it was attachment instantly. Like, this is my baby. I think that she's attaching to him financially. It's not for looking for the father of this child. It's about what the baby can get from this man. She knew what she had done. When my brother had this baby, we were, we were gonna take it and do what we need to do for the baby. She came to my home, Lying. looking for my brother with her family, throwing things at my window. That's Bring me back my, my baby. baby. That's not his... my baby and wouldn't tell me where y'all was at. That's what you She asked. told my family, I wasn't home at the moment, thank God, because if I was, I would probably have an altercation with her family if I don't popping up like that. I see you. But she said, I heard my, her family said, that's not his baby. Bring, where that baby at? Where that baby at? That's not his baby. How he gonna take a baby that's not his? Oh, through all of that, my understanding is... Let's get some order. My understanding of this is somehow Ja'Kaya ended up staying with Mr. Will. Well, the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here, and there's no going back this time around. Mr. Wilson's desire for closure and miss. Dean's anticipation hit a brick wall as the results were about to pop. Let's see how it all unfolds. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Wilson, you are not the father. <laughs> Miss Faithful, stop. <laughs>